I want to talk about your last album, All Art Ain't Pretty, because mm -hmm. you, you talk a lot about the creative process in that project, um, kind of like, you know, putting in the time to, to really like focus on your craft and work, you know, and, and, and being true to like your art. Uh, and you set the tone. I want to talk about like how you put the whole thing together too, but you set the tone from the very beginning with the, the intro. And there's, the quote is, an artist's duty is to reflect the times. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that really set the tone for the rest of the album. Tell me about like your moment of reflection in these times and, and kind of your thought process while you were making this record. Well, I had started the record um, at the end of 2019, like December. Um, and I had just worked on a few of the records um, I didn't have like an end game particularly as to how exactly that album was supposed to, what the story was per se. Um, as the album was released in the summer of 2020, obviously there was a lot going on. We were in the midst of a pandemic, um, George Floyd, um, the protests, everything that was going on, the monument. Um, and at the time when all of this was going on, I felt a pressure to complete the album. At that moment, I felt an urgency to complete the album in this, it, like I needed to catch lightning in a bottle. I needed to document what was my experience. Um, me as an artist, I feel, um, that basically all I'm doing is uh, expressing the human experience from my perspective. You know, so I felt like this was a time that needed to be captured. Um, so the, the very first day that the monument started to become repurposed, um, I, I yeah, like I, like <laughs> I, you know, I linked up with uh, Dion from Til Infinity Multimedia, my photographer, and we went and took pictures on the, um, on the monument, um, and that ended up being the album cover, which is why, you know, if you look at that picture, there's not, a, there's not the full coverage of of graffiti all over the monument. There's just like, you can still read the words, it's right? Sparse. You know what I mean? It's sparse. So like, um, that was literally like the very first day after it happened. I was like, yo, I gotta get down there and see that. But yo, come come meet me, we're gonna go take pictures. So I went, you know, we took the pictures and um, and I just kind of went into hyper speed with finishing the album. I had just lost my uncle um, to COVID. Um, I just needed to, I needed to capture all of my emotions in that particular time. Um, and that's kind of how that album became formed and how it sounds so specific to, you know, when it was released. The, yeah, I mean, it does, it, it fits a moment. And one of those songs is Rumors of War. Was mm -hmm. that something that was done as you were like rushing to finish it up or had you had that done? No, Rumors of War was the first record that I had done. I did that around the time that the Candy Wiley uh, um, sculpture was created um, or was unveiled. put unveiled, I should say. Um, it took a minute to get unveiled, then they yeah, got right. stuck. <laughs> so, um, so that was that was actually done in the end of 2019, that particular record. Um, the records towards the end of the album, uh, Law and Order, um, Unity, uh, you know, basically like that last five or six records um, were the ones that were done really quickly towards the end of the wrapping up of that particular album. In this album speaking to that moment did that have anything to do with why you were chosen to be like the main figure in the mending walls project no um a record that i did um well started out as a poem and then turned into a record that was on jesus never wore a suit called uh when 16 ain't enough um that particular poem 
that came out, I really did that for Poetry Slam um, in like 2000, I wanna say like 16, something like that. Um, and then I'm having a hard time remembering what year Jesus Never Wore a Suit was released, but it was a couple of years after that. Um, and that, that particular record specifically was kind of the catalyst of me being the focal point of that mural. Um, but it was also just my general stance musically and like publicly on those matters in addition to that particular record. What do you feel when you look at that, that mural? <sighs> um, you know, it's always a very interesting question. Like I was asked that when it was first done and I'm standing there looking at it and I didn't have an answer then. I don't really have an answer now. Um, I feel a sense of pride for sure. Um, I feel honored to be among those names. I feel like the focal point of that mural is the names, not my face. I feel like my face is just a, um, and my hands are just to signify where we stand in all of this currently. So there's these names of all of these slain people by police and this is where we still happen to be among this it's not as this is not over my hands are still up i'm still asking for grace in this position you know i'm still asking for mercy essentially um uh which is sad because um one human being should not have to ask for mercy from another human being 